We all know her as the girl who's taken the world by storm, with her career in acting, her music video appearances, and especially her stunning looks in the magazines. Emily Ratajkowski is a force to be reckoned with, but she's also as complex as she is beautiful. So without further ado, this is everything you didn't know about Emily Ratajkowski. Starting off strong, did you know Emily wasn't born in the United States? It's something I did because like, I model bathing suits, I did Sports Illustrated, but I'm actually just a truly a Cali girl. Like I grew up in Encinitas, California, which is a tiny town in San Diego. That's right. Although she is American, she was actually born in London where she lived the first five years of her life until her parents moved to California where she was raised. Despite growing up in the entertainment hub of the world, Emily wasn't allowed to watch TV. So it's pretty ironic that she ended up working in the industry, but because of her immense talent and uncommonly good looks, Emily was unsurprisingly signed to a modeling agency by the time she was 14, aiming to use modeling as a stepping stone to eventually become an actress. Little did she know that she'd end up favoring modeling over acting, as it would open many more doors for her in the future. The next interesting fact about Emily Ratajkowski is that she attended UCLA. That's right, girls got brains. She went for art and theater, but dropped out a couple of semesters in. Why would one drop out of such a prestigious university, you may ask? Well, because by her third semester, Emily was already modeling full-time, and in between shooting, makeup, and traveling, she didn't have much time left in her schedule for school. But this isn't when her career kick-started. When her fame and career really took off was when she unexpectedly posed for erotica magazine Eye Treats, featuring her on the cover, posing nude, with her knees pulled up to her chest and her hand tousling her long brown hair. At least, I mean, now I look at pictures of myself and I'm like, it's crazy that anyone ever thought I was an adult. I look like such a child. That being right. said, I did look look older. Um, and so the world kind of accepted me as looking like a full-grown woman. In case you were wondering, Emily was very comfortable doing this as she was taught by a very young age that she should be proud and unashamed of her body. As a self-proclaimed feminist, she believes every woman should have a say in what she does with her own body. This has caused controversy with many people, especially certain feminist groups, who claim Emily only promotes these views because she's trying to exploit and capitalize over her body. Regarding these allegations, though, Emily seems unperturbed and continues promoting her values through her work. What I like now is that, you know, things, the way that I've built my career, things are more in my hands and in my control. So those failures feel more like road bumps than like huge losses. And I feel less impacted by um, other people saying no because I figured out my ways of of getting to where I want to get. But back to the I Treat magazine pose. That shoot really put her on the map and made directors and producers notice her. So it came as no surprise when she was contacted by Robin Thicke and his video director, Diane Martell, who both thought she'd be the perfect casting for the Blurred Lines music video. And they were right. Emily was absolutely stunning in the production, which again caused controversy as she appears topless in the unrated video. All this occurred in 2013, when at the same time, Ratajkowski and her then-boyfriend, art director Andrew Dryden, were seen together plenty of times. They later split in 2014. Soon after, she started dating the We Are Your Friend star, Jeff McGeehan. The couple kept their relationship mostly private, and they quietly dated for almost four years until they split in early 2018. The point to all this is that while Emily has also been incredibly driven and focused on her career, she also allowed herself to run around and have some fun. After the Blurred Lines music Video. The song became the hit of the summer, and everyone knew her as the star of the production. Um, I was in the Blurred Lines video. That was my kind of big breakthrough moment. Mm -hmm. And um, I told everyone that that felt like an empowering experience. But I think that as I've gotten older, I've realized it's a little bit more complicated, and I feel a responsibility to tell young girls that and share that with them. Emily didn't want to be known as just the girl from the video, so she decided to start looking for different gigs, and she posed for several other magazine covers and layouts. And that same year, Radical Kowski was named Esquire's Woman of the Year, beating fan favorite Jennifer Lawrence, star of The Hunger Games, and taking the title for herself. She was also named one of the 20 hottest sex symbols by Rolling Stone and featured in Sports Illustrated's 50th anniversary swimsuit issue. Within a few months, she appeared on the covers of Cosmopolitan, FHM, GQ, and Harper. She continued to stand out, not only for sensuality, but her daringness, particularly in the CR Fashion Books photo shoot, which contains erotic images images of her with Carly Kloss and a handful of male models. This new level of fame allowed her to leverage the pursuit of her dream of being an actress when she was younger. Ratajkowski landed a few minor roles as secondary characters. She famously
famously appeared in Nickelodeon's iCarly, where she played dorky Gibby's pretty girlfriend. But in these roles, she soon found out that she was being typecast, especially as the mean girl, and she was advised by her manager to be way more selective with the roles she took on, which alienated her from acting for a couple of years. So when in late 2014, she was given a key role in David Fincher's Gone Girl, she was cast as Andy Fitzgerald, a pattern-breaking role, as this character is known to be the innocent type who's being exploited by Ben Affleck's character. This is opposite everything else she'd ever participated in, which proved that, as an actress, she can be versatile and has a wider range. And because of this movie, which was a great hit, Ratajkowski caught the attention of critics and movie directors alike, and doors started opening for her career as an actress. His method is have you do it so many times that you forget what you're doing, which is great as an actor because that's the goal. Um, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying like and who my parents are right now and what I did before this, which are things you think about as an actor. She later played the lead opposite Zac Efron in We Are Your Friends and dabbled in television productions such as The Spoils Before Dying and Netflix show Easy. She's also got several high-profile films on the horizon, including a lead role in the new film by Robert Siegel, writer of The Founder, The Wrestler, and Turbo, called Cruise. She's also slated to play opposite Aaron Paul in Welcome Home, though she's still trying to avoid getting cast as the bitchy girl. And she's doing all this while still modeling and balancing out her social life and love life, which was quite the roller coaster, by the way. A lot of people look to as this example of um, empowerment through kind of capitalizing off of the way I looked, off of my sexuality. And um, I wanted to tell the whole story to that. I think that it's not just as simple as um, power is equals sexualizing yourself, being a model, being beautiful. Remember we said in 2018 she broke up with musician Jeff McGid? Well, only a month later, she announced her surprise wedding to longtime friend Bear McClark, and in 2021, they welcomed their son Sylvester into the world. But their happiness was short-lived, and the couple split in 2022, with the rumors that McClard had allegedly been unfaithful, though these have not been addressed by either one. Ratajkowski has opened up about her life post-breakup, expressing that it's time for her to find a partner who she isn't worried about them liking her. In the months following her divorce, Full life and so I want somebody who and also because of what we just talked about like my experience with men kind of like resenting you getting emasculated I'm hoping that you know dating somebody who has more of their own like confidence. Ratajkowski was linked to Brad Pitt and came out as bisexual through TikTok in October 2022. One month later, Us confirmed that she was dating comedian Pete Davidson, who also recently went through a breakup with Kim Kardashian. And in December 2022, things seemingly fizzled out with Pete, and she was seen in New York kissing actor Jack Greer. And in even more recently, in 2023, a TikTok went viral where she's caught by paparazzi making out with pop star Harry Styles. And while this may or may not be a publicity stunt, both parties seem to be having a good time.